lesson 1 stars and our solar system do you know what is meant by celestial bodies the sun planets moon stars these are all celestial or heavenly body you all know that sun is a star and the eight planets including the earth revolve around it in different orbits first we'll see about the moon the moon revolves around the earth it is known as a satellite of the earth it is a natural satellite of the earth it is the heavenly body nearest to the earth the moon is at an average distance of 3 lakhs 84,400 kilometers from the earth we see that the time of moonrise and moonset is different that means the moon rises at a different time every day you will notice that on any day the moon rises about 50 minutes later than on the previous day how as the moon revolves around the earth it also rotates around itself the moon takes 27.3 days to complete one revolution around the earth and it takes the moon the same time to complete one rotation around itself so what are the consequences of this on full moon day the moon appears to be round after that it wanes or we can say appears smaller and smaller till at last on new moon day we don't see the moon at all in the sky from new moon day the moon waxes that means it appears bigger and bigger again every day these different sizes of the moon that we see as it waxes and wanes are called the phases of the moon where we do not see the moon in the sky that is the new moon day thereafter due to rotation and revolution of the earth and the moon we see the phases of the waxing moon serially till full moon day on the full moon day the sun lights up and on the full moon day we see the complete moon the period from one new moon day to the next is of 29.5 days these celestial events occur in the sky again and again now we'll see about the constellations we see many stars and group of stars in the sky on summer nights we can see a particular configuration of seven stars it is called the great bear in english or we can say in marathi saptarshi the constellation called orion the hunter shines very brightly in the sky it can be easily seen on winter nights the three stars in the middle are said to be orion's belt the fainter stars below it are his dagger if the line of the stars from the belt is stretched eastwards it leads us to the star called Sirius. Sometimes the Scorpius can be seen in the southern sky just below the equator. These stars may not all be at the same fixed distance from the earth. They only appear to be joined together to form a group. So how many constellations could there be in the sky? See, we have divided the sky into 88 parts for convenience. Each of these parts is known as a constellation. That means there are 88 constellations. Of these, 37 belong to the northern sky and 51 belong to the southern sky. Ancient Indian astronomers had imagined 27 constellations which they called Nakshatra. Now we'll see about our solar system. The sun, the eight planets that revolve around it, their satellites, asteroids, comets all together form our solar system there are many other stars like our sun with their solar systems so first we'll see about the sun the sun is the center of our solar system and it is a medium sized star the temperature at its surface is about 6000 degrees celsius its size is so big that it could hold within itself 13 lakh earths like us all the objects around the sun revolve around it because it has a gravitational force. The planets Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. They all revolve around the sun 
each in a different orbit. The time taken by a planet to go once around the sun is its period of revolution. Now you know there are so many planets but they never collide with each other because they do not leave their orbit. Every planet has a different period of revolution. The greater the distance of a planet from the sun, the greater is its period of revolution. And therefore, the period of revolution of Mercury is just 88 days while that of Neptune is 146 years. Planets rotate around themselves even as they revolve around the sun and the time a planet takes to complete one rotation around itself is called its period of rotation. Small heavenly bodies are seen to revolve around some of the planets. They are called that planet, satellite or moons. Mars has two moons while Saturn have more than 60. Now we'll see about Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet of our solar system and it is the one nearest to the sun. But it does not have a moon. Then Venus, the planet nearest to Earth is Venus. It is also called the morning star or evening star. It does not have any moon and it rotates from east to west around itself unlike other planets which rotate from west to east. Now about our earth. The factors necessary for life such as right temperature, water, air, atmosphere, protection of the ozone layer etc. are found only on earth and therefore in our solar system only earth has a living world. The axis around which earth rotates is not perpendicular to its orbit but slightly inclined. Because of this earth has seasons like summer and winter. Then the planet Mars. Mercury and Venus are called the inferior planets as their orbits are inside earth's orbit and those outside earth's orbit are the superior planets. The soil on Mars is rich in iron which makes the planet appear red and it is called the red planet. Mars has two moons. Then comes the Jupiter. It is the largest planet in the solar system and it rotates very fast completing one turn around itself in just 10 hours. Then next is Saturn. It has rings around it. And its density is less than that of water. That means if there were a large enough ocean of water, this huge planet would float in it. Then comes Uranus and Neptune. These planets are the outermost planets of the solar system. Now we'll see about asteroids. There is a great distance between the two planets, Mars and Jupiter. We can see small remnants of heavenly bodies revolving in this gap. They are asteroids. Then comets. A comet too is a celestial body. Comets revolve around the sun in elliptical orbits. But they have very long periods of revolution. A comet consists of a brilliant sphere called its head and a long tail. The tail is always on the side opposite to the sun. As the comet moves nearer to the earth, the tail gets longer. For example, Halley's comet is seen once in 76 years. Then we'll see about meteors. When some celestial body comes near the earth, the earth pulls the body towards itself. That body falls at great speed through the earth's atmosphere. As it falls, friction with the constituents of the atmosphere causes its temperature to rise and it begins to glow. This is called a meteor or we can say a falling star. Now about the artificial satellites. India has put several satellites into orbits around the earth for the benefit and progress of mankind. 
दीज आर आर्टिफिशियल और मैनमेड सेटेलाइट इंडिया सेटेलाइट आर आर्यभट इन सेट आई आर एस कल्पना वन एजुसेट भास्कर एक्सेट्रा दे आर यूज फॉर मेकिंग कॉन्टैक्ट विथ थिंग्स इन स्पेस एंड फॉर कम्युनिकेशन फॉर वे द फोरकास्टिंग फॉर टेली कम्युनिकेशन एंड ब्रॉडकास्टिंग प्रोग्राम ऑन रेडियो एंड टेलीविजन कंडक्टिंग स्पेस रिसर्च इंप्लीमेंटिंग एजुकेशनल प्रोग्राम मेकिंग एक्यूरेट मैप्स यू मस्ट हैव सीन द एस्ट्रोनॉट्स सो वॉट दे ईट वेन ट्रेवलिंग इन स्पेस दे आर एबल टू ईट इन देर वेटलेस स्टेट इन फैक्ट लाइक अस दे हैव बोथ सॉलिड एंड लिक्विड फूड्स they have their food directly from close packet so that it does not fly into the air this food provides them all the food constituents and vitamins they need